good morning dear students welcome to this session my dear students today i am going to teach you grammar topics nouns singular and plural nouns and synonyms already you have learnt about nouns in the previous class let us recall so let's begin the session nouns our first topic is nouns nouns are the naming words nouns are the naming words let us see the definition of a noun the names given to persons places animals and things are called nouns what are nouns the names given to persons places animals and things are called nouns now let us look into the uh, types of the nouns so we are going to discuss only proper nouns and common nouns there are various types of nouns are there so what is a proper noun proper noun is the special name given to any person place animal or thing is called a proper noun so my dear student we should remember that proper nouns always begin with a capital letter so you come across many uh, sentences begins with a capital letter so you can easily understand the word is a proper noun now let us look into some examples of the proper noun so here first example rahul lives in new delhi rahul lives in new delhi what are the proper nouns here rahul and new delhi why rahul is a special name given to a boy and new delhi is a proper noun is given to a place special name is given to place in the second example you see tim has a sony tv at home tim has a sony tv at home what are the proper nouns here tim is a proper noun and sony tv is a proper noun in the third example we see fluffy is the name of rita's dog so what are the proper nouns here fluffy and rita both are proper nouns so fluffy is a name given to a dog what is the name of the dog fluffy and what is the name of the girl here rita so rita is a na special name given to a girl so these underlined words are called proper nouns now let us look into the uh, common nouns so common nouns means the nouns generally it is given so it is like uh, ordinary names of a persons places animals and things are called common nouns so what is a common noun so ordinary names of a persons places animals and things are called common nouns let us look into some examples first example is the dog is barking at the old man the dog is barking at the old man what are the common nouns here dog and man are the common nouns because here uh, the dog's name is not mentioned so it is generally said the dog is barking at the old man so second example my uncle has a big house my uncle has a big house so here uncle and house are the common nouns so here also we can see the names are not mentioned specially so it is just generally said so uncle and house are the common nouns so next our topic is singular and plural nouns singular and plural nouns so nouns are divided into singular and plural nouns if singular form is given we have to change into plural form it's very important to learn uh, singular and plural nouns so countable nouns so can be both singular and plural 
countable nouns can be both singular and plural they can be shown with a number one per one apple or two apples or more than two apples so you can see here examples apple so here there is only one apple so that's why it is called a singular noun and you can see the right side there are two apples so it is um, called plural noun now let us understand the meaning of the singular noun so a singular noun names only one one person one thing one place and one idea so here person is mentioned here a boy so a boy means only one person here we are talking about only singular nouns so if, if you want to say more than one boy then you have to call boys so thing so the, we can take many example like things bag pencil no a table pen like that so a singular noun can be a school so we are talking about only one school so there are thousands of schools uh, we see but here uh, only we are talking about only one school so next we can see the example of idea so patriotism so we should have uh, love for our country uh, next let us see a floral noun a floral noun names more than one person more than one person thing place idea so here you can see uh, there are group of boys okay so there are you can see in the image there are four boys so we can uh, call them as a floral noun now we cannot say it is a singular noun because there are many boys so more than one person one thing one place idea we call them plural nouns so you can see uh, there are many bags and you can see here uh, schools and uh, in india we see so many religions so there is not only one particular religion hinduism or muslim or christian but we can find number of religions in india so let us look into some examples how the singular form changing into plural form you can see here uh, boy so it, it is a singular noun changed into plural form boys can you understand yes so you can see another example there is one fox it is a singular noun and the other side you can see foxes there are more than one fox so fox changed into uh, singular noun to plural form let us understand the some uh, rules and regulations how to understand how to change singular into plural form so generally uh, we see any uh, singular noun we can add yes so when the, when we add yes to the singular noun it becomes plural so here you see pencil so pencil is a singular noun now it is changed into plural pencils so just we are adding s to the uh, last okay when we add s to the singular noun it becomes a plural noun so same way girl girls fan fans room rooms cat cats chair chairs photo photos studio studios so i hope you understand the rule number 1 so let us see the second rule here you can see uh, the words the nouns uh, ends with uh, sh yes yes s ch x z so all these uh, letters uh, somehow they end with these letters so when we come across these uh, letters in the word we have to remove these letters and add es then it becomes a es so for example you see in the first example bush so we see here the letters ending with sh so what happen uh, when there is sh s s s c h x z uh, it becomes es so whenever you see these letters ending in a word we have to add es so 
we should not remove anything just we have to add es so bush is a singular noun now we have added es so it becomes bushes so bush is a singular noun changed into bushes so next example bus so we are not changing any letters but just we are adding es buses next one church churches just we are adding es so box we are just adding es boxes class you can see here the word ends with the s -S. so we are just adding es classes next to example cross crosses buzz buzzes potato so potato so we are adding es tomato tomatoes so we have to remember very carefully the nouns okay singular nouns ended with the s h s s s c h x and z uh, we should not remove these letters from the uh, words just we have to add es next let us look into another rule now we come across many uh, sometimes uh, the words ends with y okay the words ends with a y so here you can see uh, y is a no consonant okay consonant letter y so in first example you see baby the word last letter is y so before y there is a consonant yes or no before y there is a consonant letter so what is that b so b is a consonant so then we have to remove y okay in the word baby we have to remove the uh, y letter so we have to remove the y letter and add ies so it becomes baby so baby is a singular noun and uh, it uh, changes into baby so we have to remember that before y if there is a uh, consonant letter b okay we have to remove the y letter and add ies so you can see some example lady so last letter is y before that you can see d letter so remove y and add ies it becomes ladies so next example candy candies city cities puppy puppy so you can see here how the uh, nouns changed into plural nouns how the singular nouns changed into plural nouns so we have to remove the end of the letter in a noun y remove and add ies it becomes a plural noun next look into vowels okay you know what are the vowels a e i o u are the vowel letters a e i o u are the vowel letter so we see here uh, in examples let us look into examples first example is boy so here before y what you see here before y what you see uh, wo what you see wo so if in a word before y if there is a vowel letter then we have to add s yes to the plural noun so here we are not going to remove y okay we have to remember very carefully in a word if the word is a, a singular noun okay and uh, before y if there is a vowel letter okay we should not change a, a remove any words from the uh, words we cannot uh, remove any letters from the word just we have to add yes so boy boy so here you can see just we added yes it becomes a boys so a singular noun is changed into boys same way you can see toy so before y there is a vowel letter that is a vowel letter so we are not removing y but we just added uh, yes so it becomes a toys so next example key keys is a, a key is a singular noun changed into plural keys same way rays okay ray is a singular noun and it is changed into rays next we see monkey so many times uh, children used to make mistake here monkeys what they do they write just uh, monkeys uh, m o n k 
E I E S monkeys K I E S they remove wires they add uh, I E S so normally we confuse ourselves sometimes so so monkey is a singular noun so we have to just add yes okay because uh, you see in here uh, monkey last letter is y before that there is a e vowel letter so we should add just s now let us look into uh, another rule you see sometimes the words the nouns ends with a f or f e so when the words ends with a f or f e we have to uh, use v e s then we have to remove uh, f or f e so we have to add v e s let us look into the examples so here you can see first example wife okay so here the word is en ended with a f e okay the word is ended with a f e so it is a singular noun only one wife okay it's a singular noun now let us see here when we want to change into singular to plural we have to remove f e and add v e s okay remove f e and add v e s so it becomes wives okay the singular noun wife changed into wives see here we added v e s just removed uh, v f e so next example life here also you can see the word ends with f e so we remove f e and add v e s it becomes lives same way next example knife so the word ends with f e remove f e and add v e s it becomes knives same way scar here you, you can see the last letter f okay so we have to remove f and add v e s it becomes scarves last example also you can see wolf only uh, we have to remove the f in a singular noun and add v e s so wolf is a singular noun changed into plural noun wolves so next we see another rule many times we come across uh, in the middle of the word we see double o so it is a singular noun how to change this uh, singular noun into a uh, floral noun so many times you know we get uh, confusion here you can see here f o o t foot okay foot it is a singular noun so how to change into floral noun so whenever you come across double o in a word we have to uh, add uh, e e you have to remove the double o letters and add e e then it becomes uh, feet so feet be uh, foot becomes feet in a floral noun so we added uh, e e we removed uh, double o then we added e e so it becomes feet so singular noun foot is changed into floral noun feet so same way second example tooth tooth is a singular noun so here we can see double o in the middle of the word we have to remove double o and add e e then it becomes teeth so tooth is a singular noun it changed into teeth so next example goose so here also we can see double o in a word so we have to remove the double o and add uh, double e it becomes geese so singular nouns changed into floral nouns so another another rule is very important we come across uh, the nouns we should not change we have to keep as it is we cannot add any s form or es form or sh form so it is remain same so here you see some examples deer so singular noun is a deer and plural also same so here we should not add any uh, letters okay it becomes uh, same we, we need not to change the singular noun into plural it is uh, deer is a singular noun as well as plural so we can say deer deer uh, same way we say sheep we cannot say one sheep two sheep so it is wrong so singular noun and plural nouns are the same the, the form is same we are not going to change any we cannot apply any rule here same way wood wood fish we say fishes sometimes no children used to say in, in the school or in their homes uh, they say if they see a number of fish fish they say 
uh, there are so many fishes in the tank no they say so it's wrong to say that fishes so we have to say only fish so police police also it's a singular and plural we cannot apply any rule here so we cannot say police is polish you no know, like that we have to just we call it as a police and plural also we call it as a police uh, another very important rule irregular nouns irregular nouns here you see the irregular nouns we cannot apply any rule here we have to remember as a singular and as plural so regular nouns means we can apply rules but irregular nouns you cannot apply any rule so look at the some examples here so man so here man is a singular noun when it is changed into plural noun it becomes a man same way woman so it becomes a plural noun women child you no know, sometime what happen uh, children used to write uh, uh, childs no they will write as a, a child they will write as a childs no it's wrong so child is a singular noun and children is a plural noun next one mouse no we say if you see the mouse in the house we say mouses no actually there is no mouses mouse is a singular noun and plural noun is mice so we can say there are mice okay in the house so next one is person so it is a singular noun when you want to say many people many person we have to use many people plural noun is people next we see ox okay singular noun and it is changed into oxen plural noun so my dear student you have to remember uh, these rules uh, uh, don't forget we have to remember then only we can able to change the uh, singular nouns into plural nouns here you can see some examples okay you can see here some uh, singular nouns and plural nouns how it is changed into uh, singular noun to plural nouns next we are going to uh, look into uh, synonyms we are going to discuss with the uh, synonyms so synonyms let us understand what is the definition of the synonyms so synonyms the words that mean the same or have almost the same meaning are called synonyms so a word may have more than one synonym that means a word has uh, uh, more than one meaning so for example you take happy happy meaning cheerful joyful okay we can give many meanings to the word next you can see the image beautiful beautiful means pretty we can Uh, give you no know, number of meaning same way fast another meaning is quick tiny another meaning is small large large means uh, big we can give another synonym so i hope you understand uh, this video and uh, once again you can listen and uh, go through the video once again and uh, try to understand uh, the rules and regulations of the grammar then only you can um, use this synonyms and nouns okay in your uh, language so i hope this video help you to understand better uh, about uh, nouns uh, synonyms and singular and plural nouns thank you very much